Shalom and shalom and welcome to another Funky Bible Daily Devotional Sermon. Today's sermon is titled, Esther's Plea, A Cry for Deliverance. Welcome back to the Sword Lord Gideon channel. Today we continue our exploration of the book of Esther, entering a pivotal moment where Queen Esther, faced with the impending doom, turns, the Almighty, turns to the Almighty in a desperate plea of deliverance. In chapter 8, we witness Queen Esther's profound desperation. Fearing for her life and the lives of her people, she sought refuge in the only place she knew could offer salvation, the presence of the Lord. Esther, in an act of humility, cast aside her glorious appeal, exchanging it for garments of anguish and mourning. She replaced precious ointments with ashes and dung, filling the palaces of her, uh, of her joy with her torn hair. In, our heart, in a heartful prayer, Esther, acknowledging the sins of her people, pleaded with God in Israel. She recounted the promises made to her forefathers and confessed the transgressions that led to their captivity. Esther, with righteous indignation, cried out against their oppressor. She beseeched the Lord not to let their enemies succeed in quenching uh, the glory of his house and altar, and to turn the devices of the wicked upon themselves. Esther implored the Lord for boldness, especially when standing before the lion a clear reference to the powerful figures who sought their demise. Her request was not only for a personal courage, but the deliverance of her entire people. In a moment of profound faith, Esther declared her abhorrence for the glory of the unrighteous and the ways of, of the heathen. She emphasizes the loyalty of the Lord, expressing deep disdain for the symbols of, uh, of her high estate. Esther revealed that her sole joy since arriving in the palace was found in the Lord of the God of Abraham. She hadn't partaken in the luxuries offered by a man, nor had she taken delight in the king's feast. With a powerful crescendo, Esther beseeched the Almighty to hear the voice of the forlorn and deliver them from the hands of the mischievous. Actually, God does that, but yes, Esther's part of it. Esther's heartfelt plea sets the stage for what comes next. Join us in the next episode as we witness the unfolding of Esther's courageous plan and divine intervention that follows. As always, thank you for joining me on this journey through the book of Esther. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more compelling content. This is Sword Lord Gideon signing off.